Hey, what's up and welcome everyone to another Warzone Academy video. And in today's video, we bring back one of the most highly sought after series in this channel, and it's where we review your gameplay together. But special to today, we're focusing on the pinwheel rotation. Now, this is my most viewed video of all time, the key to victory, the pinwheel rotation. And we've got a loyal follower of the channel who's trying to execute the pinwheel rotation in the final moments of his Warzone battle. He's playing solos and he's making the rotation, but there are a lot of mistakes that he's making that I think could really prevent him from perfectly executing it. So we go through, we break down, we kind of set the stage and see where he's at in the moments. And then in the final moments of this video, we'll see the fundamental mistakes that he's making and how he's really not executing the pinwheel rotation to its best advantage. Now, if you want to have your Warzone footage reviewed by me, you have to follow me over on Twitch what? every Sunday. We have the Twitch viewership all together, and we review the community's footage together. So, once again, if you want to have your footage reviewed, make sure to follow me over there on Twitch. Be there on Sundays, and be ready with your video. We'll get it done. We'll review it together as a community, and I look forward to seeing you all there. But until then, enjoy today's video, and figure out how exactly we do the pinwheel rotation in-game. See you next time. So it looks like he's kind of following the pinwheel rotation. He's waiting. One thing I would be be careful though, you have a you have a bad habit of pulling your map up mid rotation. Get somewhere safe, pull up your map, then rotate. Because right now you've rotated and you're not clearing the most important part of the pinwheel rotation, right? Most important part of the pinwheel is making sure that we're clearing out everyone that is being affected by the zone. You ran back and then you're immediately focusing on right here, and you need to be focused on right here because these are the people that are going to have pressure from the zone to push in check it again most important part of the pinwheel rotation is clearing off that right hand side it's late in the game people most likely have ghost and you sprint forward and you don't clear off anything off to your right and there's a guy right in front of you. I didn't even see him. Okay. Uh, oh, this is one of the things I talk about in the five fatal mistakes. Shooting someone too early. He doesn't see you there. Okay, I wouldn't I wouldn't try to shoot at him until you know that you can get the kill. You're shooting at a very narrow window right here. Unless you're confident that you can beam him and kill him, I wouldn't do it. Because now he has the opportunity to run and escape. Pre-fire, interesting choice. Not bad. I, I don't really like the use of utility there. You only have two C4s and you wasted both of them. It seems like that second one was an accidental throw. Um, look, pro tip, if you're using C4s and you're trying to blow up your first C4, you can just double tap reload and it'll blow it up. It also takes away you doing that squeezing trigger animation. Um, so you can throw that first C4, double tap reload, double tap square, double tap F on PC, double tap X on Xbox. And that'll, that'll blow up the C4 for you. Instead, you throw it on accident and you have to blow up both of them. You've got a custom uh, custom Bruin. Just talking a little bit about this gun. It has a very great... It has a fantastic time to kill with the 5.56 attachment. Um, it, it nears that of the Ram 7. It's still not as fast as the Ram 7. But the worst thing about the Bruin, even with maxed out ADS, it still has a very slow aim down sight time. So keep that in mind. You didn't know that, thanks? It's so great, man. It's so great. Not only does it allow you to blow it up quicker, but it, it stops that animation. So you can like you can be aiming down sight and blowing it up. You can actually be in the process of being downed or fully downed. You can throw a C4, get downed, double tap, use, and it'll blow up the C4. I've killed people in the middle of a self-revive animation because I've waited for them to run towards me and hit my C4. Now it's a ghost town. Yeah. This is an okay play. It's pretty passive, but... Now you need to figure out what the heck are you doing. Quick. Because you're on the fat part of the zone. We were talking about that earlier. People are like, oh, what zone can I outrun? This zone, you probably cannot outrun. This, easy. The farther away it is, it's going to close in faster here than it is here. 
So you need to figure out immediately what you're doing and start your rotation early. If you don't start your rotation early, you're probably going to die. Me personally, I would play the pinwheel. I would rotate around through here. And then the closer that I work my way during this stationary time, during this 53 seconds while this is stationary, I'm now moving myself towards a thinner part of the zone than back here. So that way, when it does come time to move into the zone, I've got time and the storm's not pushing me as aggressively. All the while, I'm clearing it out. Now, why am I rotating up through here? Well, I do have one awkward pass. This is a risky pass. Outside of that, all of this, great hills, great terrain, great trees, so much places for cover. Um, if you're to rotate through here, you're going to be stuck rotating out later on with everyone who's inside of all of these buildings who are going to be rotating in with you. They're going to be jumping off of roofs. They're going to be coming out of doorways. Screw that. So let's see what you do. It's wide open. The only wide open spot is right here. And then you work your way in, and guess what? All of this, if you keep making that rotation, all of this is clear because of the edge of the map. So it's even less stuff that you have to worry about. Let's see what you do. You're thinking. You've been playing the pinwheel the entire time. You even titled the video Pinwheel Solos. You're waiting a long time. A long time. That zone's going to push you hard. The longer you wait, the harder that zone's going to push you in the back, and it's going to get real uncomfortable real quick. I'm not even sure if you can outrun this. Eh, I think you can. I think you still can't outrun it. That's what I'm saying. That's where I'd want to be. There's a little bunker right there. That's easy. You could, be, you could be at that bunker right now, wrapping up and around behind him. Ooh, brother, move. So, pinwheel rotation doesn't mean you stop when the storm stops, okay? When the storm stops, you continue to keep rotating around. And then when the storm goes, you go with it, and then you stab yourself in the next zone. And then you stab yourself with it, and you go along in the next zone. It doesn't mean you stop where you are in that moment. Because that's what's allowing people to rotate into you. The value of the pinwheel rotation is as you continue to rotate, all of this has been cleared out. When you stay stationary, all of a sudden, we don't know what the threat is right next to you. But as you continue to rotate towards, you know that you've got all this area already cleared out. Playing slow leaves people to, you know, push into you. You just got into a big gunfight with two C4s and double Renetti the guy. Someone could be pre-aiming you right now. Clear your right. Good job. Enemy UAV. Pull out your... Uh, it's tough, but I mean, you can pull out your Renettis if you need to run faster. And then here... Okay, that's, that's where it gets dangerous, right? We're running through the open field. We talked about how dangerous this was. Whoever said this was all open field, look at all this beautiful cover you can hide behind. Um... You got to be moving. You got to be sliding. You got to be jumping. If you can, learn the slide cancel. If it's uncomfortable, buy a scuff. Learn it on mouse and keyboard. Do something. The The slide cancel will change your head level. So not only do you move faster because it resets your tactical sprint, but you're also you're covering, um, covering ground a lot quicker as well. But good. We're making the pinwheel rotation later than I would have liked. You're basically going to force yourself to fight this guy coming out of the bunker right now, which is going to be awkward. When beforehand, you could have been up, around, and behind him. You're kind of wandering aimlessly. So think about when you're making your rotations, where your next piece of cover is going to be. If you're, you're doing this nice little habit of kind of like turning, you're, you're changing yourself laterally, but you're not changing yourself vertically, which is obviously what we just talked about with sliding. But more than that, as you're making those little jiggles, which you're doing a good job, okay, bias your direction. Right now, you're just kind of going, right? Bias your direction towards your next piece of cover. If you were to get shot at right now, where's your next piece of cover? Okay, so you should be either biasing yourself towards this rock, towards this tree. Maybe, 
I wouldn't have even looped around here because right now you are in wide open space. Um, you know, maybe maybe cut that line directly towards, at, at the very least, you have a tree, or then maybe the ridge line that's right here. Or make that swing a lot sooner, and you would have been all the way up, around, and behind, taking the high ground. But just keep that in mind as you're going through it. Try to... Uh, Try to have a plan in mind for when you when you get shot. Because right now, I would be cutting hard left towards this tree or hard up here for that cover. Or we're just kind of chilling in open spaces. There it is. You saw him. You saw him open the door. You saw him open the door. Please tell me you saw him. No, you're going to die. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Oh, no. He's, behind, he's in the bunker. So that's just map knowledge, uh, Zanashra. Oh, your, your gas mask broke. Renettis. Pull out the Renettis. Pull out the Renettis. Okay. So, a lot, a lot of things happened right there. Um, first off, all the way back, early on when we were checking our map, we saw from our gunfire, we, we, we had people shooting. Um, I'm not going to pull it up, but we all saw it earlier. We, we saw people shooting on the map, so we knew there were people up at the bunker fighting. We should be expecting we're playing solos. People are going to be playing to the last possible moment to be holding that angle. You got unlucky. You didn't see the guy open the door. That's just part of sometimes everyone in chat would be like, oh, why didn't you see that? Well, you may have been clearing off to the left. So don't sweat yourself for not seeing it. Sometimes your scan is different than other people's. What you should be expecting, though, like I didn't see that guy. We saw him camping right there. I didn't see him. I'm, a, I'm like a T-Rex. If there's not movement, I don't see it. He's right there camping. Um... So that's tough. But what you should be expecting is not someone camping out in these trees right in here. You should be expecting, because we heard gunfire in here earlier, because there's a buy station, late game people might be trying to buy armor, whatever it may be, you should be expecting people to be coming out of these bunkers. That should be your main focus. You didn't see the door open, that's fine. If you had a little bit more time, you could have early popped that heartbeat sensor. But something I would never do is be out in the middle of nowhere, nowhere near any cover, popping a heartbeat sensor with the door open where campers possibly could be hiding. Good reaction time. The little panic emote, been there. And that's just map knowledge. You, you should expect someone to be camping inside of there. I, I understand you probably thought he was above you. Um... But he, he was camping inside. And then the final little thing. You're going to run significantly faster with pistols out than you are with an LMG. Swap your gun, run with the pistols, and you possibly could have outran the storm, but probably not. Mm, I, you, I, I think you could have... Out, mm, it would have been close. Um, not bad. Not bad. Like the pinwheel rotation. Playing a little too passive. Start your rotations early. You don't have to rotate while the storm is... Keep your rotations moving even if the storm is not.